Hello and welcome to ReviewGameZone.com. Today we're going to be going over how you go about adding a new test to create games on this website. So I've already logged into my teacher account and this is basically the home screen right here. Um, if you log in you get to a different page. Simply go over to the left hand side and click on the tests tab. So the first thing you're going to need to do on this page to get some data in is click on the add new test. When you click on the add the new test, you'll be brought to the screen here. You're going to need to enter some data. So the first thing you're going to need to do is enter a title. So for this demo, we're going to call this demo test one. And for the description, we're going to enter this is a sample test. Now we're going to go through here and select what topic basically this fits with. So or with subject, I'm sorry. And we're going to since this is a demo, we're going to put it underneath demo. And then we're going to find a subtopic and then we're going to find a topic. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to find the state that we belong to. If you belong to a state that is, if you're not, you're going to enter um, uh, no state, non-USA, but I'm from New York, so we're going to write that there. And we're going to write down the grade level that this game's going with, or this data set's going with. So now that I've done all that, I'm going to be brought down here to my first question. So this is the text that you're going to want to enter. So for an example, we're going to say um, stop signs are usually this color in the US. So I'm going to write down my, my answer choices. So let's say green, um, yellow, red, or purple. So those are my four choices that I've entered. And if you decide that you don't want to put the correct answer up in answer number one, you need to adjust the radio bullets over here. So the correct answer is red, so I need to click on this which will now tell the system that the answer is red. By default, question number one is the correct answer, so it's usually easier for teachers just to simply enter the correct answer up here, but for this example, I just wanted to really show you that any one of these answers can be correct. You just need to make sure you tell the system what the correct answer is. So as you're going through and typing, so let's add another question here. Grass is usually this color if it is healthy. Um, as you count here, you can actually see that there is a little character count, and this tells you how many characters you have left for that particular box. Um, there are limits to the, the number of uh, characters you can use, and the system will let you know when you get to the, the maximum of that limit. So let's say that green is the correct answer. It should not be yellow, it should definitely not be red, and it should not be brown, like my lawn is right now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm basically just going to scroll down here, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to answer, uh, you're going to enter your your question and your answers for all of them. When you guys are uh, doing this here, you basically need to make sure that you have uh, text and one answer minimally for everything before you can save. Ideally, you want to use all four answer choices, um, but for some strange reason, you only have two. That's fine. Um, you also want to avoid using statements such as um, none of the above because the answer choices are actually randomized during gameplay. So if you say none of the above, that could actually show up as the first answer. So generally speaking, you might want to say none of the choices are correct or you know, maybe if they're all correct, you can say all the choices are correct. So as you can see down here, um, you're basically just going to go through enter your data into all these fields down here. And now when you get down to the bottom, we have two choices. If you have 10 questions and that's all you want to add to the test, that's fine. You simply click on Save Test. So let's say that you have 10 and there's two more you want to add to, the, to the, the test to get your kids ready. So all you have to do is you click here, which says Add Another Question. That will bring you up here, and I wanted to add two, so here's my second one. And all you basically need to do is do the exact same thing. Uh, this system supports a maximum of 20 questions. You need to have a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 20 or any number in between, uh, depending upon the length of your test. So let's say that you go through and do this and you're on second thought, I don't want to add those extra questions. You just simply click delete and delete and it'll bring you back to your 10th question. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually gone back and entered data into all 10 questions so I can show you how you save this. So basically after you have all your data into your questions, you simply go down here and you click on save test. That's going to bring you back to the home page, which will now show you the test that you just created. So you can see over here that you've created your first test, and your first test has a unique ID number, which is 21125, 
it shows you the title, the subject, the topic, the subtopic. It gives you the option to edit it as well as delete it. So basically, if you want to see all the games that your students can play using the, uh, the, the questions you just put in, you simply click on this tab right here. And this will bring you to this, this page, which will show you all the games that your students can play using those questions that you've now entered. So those games are automatically created using the data you just put in. If they click up here, they can actually go through and preview those questions, or they can click on any one of these here and be able to play the game with the questions that you'd like them to do. Um, also, if you have a website, if you simply take this address up here, and link that into your website and have your students go to your website, they can simply just click on this link that you've created on your website and get brought right to this page. Another pretty cool option of the website is, let's say you don't actually have your own personal website, but you uh, have created a game you'd like your students to go ahead and uh, play. If you simply go to the, um, to the reviewgamezone.com, because this is our home page here, and if you actually tell your students to enter that ID number of that test over here on the right hand slide which says games by ID so if you have them enter 21125 and click the find button this will bring you to that same page and will show your students all the games that they can play with the test that you just created um, there's also another option here if you go into the settings and edit your profile and if you put your uh, your first or last name in there the students can also search um, for you by using your teacher name and find all the games that you've created. So this will show all the games that you've made while the games by ID number will only allow them to bring up one game at a time. And uh, you know while you're here, um, if you need to edit the, the, the game, let's say you made a mistake or you want to change a question or two, you click on edit text. That'll bring you to this page right here, uh, which is almost identical to the first page you did. And you just simply go through, make your changes, and then you just scroll down to the bottom and click update test and um, you're good to go. So let's say here that um, you wanted to update it. You click update. It'll tell you that it's updated. Okay, you close the tab and it'll bring you back here. Um, you do have the option to delete the game. So let's say that you're just testing out the website for the first time and you just wanted to see what we can do here. And this is just a demo test and you want to get rid of it. You can quickly slip on the, the, the delete key. I will just make one note about the delete key um, it is recommended that uh, you only delete the, the games that you, you definitely don't want because all the games that go on this website um, can be used by other teachers and there's a good possibility if you create a game that another teacher may have linked to it and could actually have their students playing that game. So if you've actually made a quality game that you're pretty confident with, there's no need to delete it because there's actually there's no limit to the number of games you're allowed to create on this website. You can have one game, you can have 500 games, and it's the same deal, 100% free, uh, no payment. Um, just create all the games you'd like. But if you do need to delete a game for whatever reason, you can click delete. Uh, there's a little warning just basically letting you know that um, other teachers may be using it, and if you delete it, they can no longer use it. But again, that's up to you what you'd like to do with it, and you just simply click OK, and it'll tell you that your game's deleted. And uh, you basically you're back and you can go through and add another test. So that's how you go ahead and add a test on ReviewGameZone.com. If you have any questions about anything, just simply click on the contact button, send over an email, and someone will get back to you very quickly. I hope this YouTube video was helpful for you. And uh, you know, thanks for stopping by and checking out ReviewGameZone.com. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.